Hi, I'm Ted Rosen, Professor of Dermatology at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. I'm here at Winter Clinical, lovely Kauai, working on my actinic keratosis. Well, actually, that's what I spoke about. There was a very, very nice summary done from Kaiser Permanente looking at over 220,000 patients who had AKs compared to matched controls who did not. They followed them for 10 years. And it turns out those AK people, 17% of them developed squamous cell carcinoma, and only a small single digit percentile of the controls did. Of course, we've lost Ingenol Medbutate. Patients want something that's short, quick, and not very inflammatory. We've replaced it, however, with turbinibulin, which is, in fact, five days, once a day. And I discussed the data that shows it's quite good for 44 to 54% complete clearance, although face does better than scalp. There is a little concern about recurrences because at a year, about 70% of patients had new AKs. Turns out only about half of those were new. The rest were really recurrent AKs that hadn't been completely eradicated, but only one to two AKs when they had recurrence. Speaking of recurrences, there was a very nice paper out of Australia this year where the Australian experts looked at all field therapies for actinic keratosis. And you know what they said? None of them work long term. They're short term good, long term not. And they recommended that we all plan repeated episodes of field therapy for actinic keratosis. It's a nice paper, certainly worth reading.